me, I want you to give me an answer, a specific answer. Do you think you would advise young Nigerians to go acquire a skill, or are you just going to wait on the government and ASU to determine an outcome? And education then... is light. No any nation will develop without education. Mm. Because, like now, they see architects and all those local people that build houses. Those people that build house, local park people, they cannot build 20-story buildings without architects. I read Mima. Go ahead, go ahead real quick. Go okay, ahead. Mean, mean, mean that skill is just to survive, but the education is advancing to bring light to the generation. And all these are leaders. They want to kill the dream of ordinary people on the street. Mm-hmm. They don't want us to, to live like their children. So but what do you suggest? For, yeah, skill ma- or... So you have to give me an outcome. Skill, go acquire a skill, or do you wait out ASU and the government? Yeah, skill is a... Is a, is a no, you, you have to choose. I'm asking you to choose. Uh, I'll choose a, I'll, I'll choose a skill now, ma. Wow. So I hope you understand why this conversation is necessary. And I'm not even a parent, and I can't even begin to verbally articulate how frustrating it must be just reading the news frustrates me. So I can't imagine having a child. And so I have to look at my 18-year-old son or daughter and say, oh, well, so Asu is on strike. And then I'm going to watch them 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 28. <laughs> Even just talking about it right now, it's like, at what point... Is there going to be a showdown? <laughs> so, so, um, well, do we wait ASU out? It means that some things have to press on the nerves of government. ASU and the people have to press on the government to kind of finalize this and people get back to school as quickly as possible. Your lives have, I mean, lives are fading away. Or do you just say, look, forget education, go get a skill. I think both is necessary. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, both is necessary. It says that you acquire the skill without a kind of basic knowledge. Mm-hmm. It will really work well. I mean, look at the society today. Yes. All right. So if we have a working system, I think those the two the two the two of them work well. The two of them will work well. All right. That the government they are just being wicked. I believe they don't want the poor masses children to live up to standard the way their own children are living. But this is not even a case of living up to standard. This is getting education. Yes, because this is education that will help our children to live up to standard. Uh, okay. Without education, they can't go nowhere. Without education, the country cannot move forward. I mean, just the ordinary shoemaker in the street that uh, on the that uh, that has learned the skill of maybe shoemaking or barbering cannot. I mean, cannot improve the economy of this country without education. Mm. Yeah, true. Skill can help someone to feed on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. But with education, my dear, you go places. So you insist because that we wait as to out, like we, we press on the government to do something about this? Uh-huh. So that I'm, I'm asking saying. you. I mean, no, not uh-huh. I'm asking you. These people so that students can go back to school. All right, then. Thank you very much. You know, these people are sadists. What you do is get the skills, make the money, school outside the country. Mm-hmm. Hello? I'm with you. I mean, is that... Yes, yes. Get the skill. Make the money and school outside this country. Oh, you mean you're speaking to the average Nigerian youth now? Yes, they should just see how they can. Because these people are sadists. For yep. how long will they keep waiting Yeah, but for, the problem is minutes? when you go to other countries, I don't know where you're asking people to go. You're a second-class citizen. And the more this refugee crisis... And you haven't thought about this thoroughly because refugee situation now is exploding. And if you're black, I don't know that all of you would have fair opportunity when you go overseas. We we, we, we understand we understand what is out there. Enjoy. Look at our nation now. Look at how it is. So are you saying Look we leave the, the are you saying we leave the nation to rot? Because at this point, is a saying it's as though if we choose one over the other, we're nearly suggesting well, there's nothing we can do. Let the nation just rot. Joy, something can be done. What? Something can be done. 
uh, what we need to do is to stand. It's to, it's to stand with us now. That's the only way out. We have to stand with us. Is that no? Is that a decision you are making? Is that I'm asking you? I'm not. I'm not asked. I, I want you to be sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, so what me I'm suggesting? That's just my suggestion for now. Instead of them to stay. You have a baby. You have a baby there. How old's your baby? <laughs> no, baby no, no, no. Yes, good. So that child, <laughs> you're laughing. That's the problem. You think it's funny. That child is coming to fit into the system. Are you sending your baby overseas? Sure, sure, Joyce. You're sending your Joyce. child overseas. Mm-hmm. God, mm-hmm. Will, God will answer your prayers. <laughs> Thank you very much Love for you, clothing. <laughs> so that's the thing. That's the thing. Because, I mean, do you look at your five-year-old and look at Nigeria? And what? You say, well, don't worry, you go learn a trade. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm asking you to place um, on a scale your expectations, your dreams, your aspirations, Nigeria and ASU in the same bracket space.